to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back yet again with another action figure ranking video for you guys. I apologize for no upload yesterday. Was running around crazy with the fam as usual, and I figured I'd take a day off, use it to relax and all of that good stuff. But we're back here today with a great banger video, man. Today, we're doing a ranking style video, but we're not going to do WWE Elites. We're going to take a break from that series. You know, we're going to try and get through every single WWE Elite set, you know, going by the fives. I think the next one's what? like 11 through 16 or something like that. This time we're on the AEW figure ranking side. Now, I gotta be honest with you, when I started this set, you know, on this AEW figure series, I was thinking a lot of people wanted me to do the AEW figures, but I wanted to wait until we had five completed series coming out. You know, we knew what they looked like and everything like that. Of course, we don't have series five in hand just yet, but I'm pretty sure I can, you know, I can judge based off of some things I've seen and stuff like that. Also, there's a lot of variants. There's a lot of exclusives to be included in this. There's a lot of figures in here, man. So it's going to be a longer video, so buckle the hell up, man. Grab your snackums. Let's go ahead and buckle up, man. Let's go ahead and cover our, our tiers over here and just get into it. Now, the go buy it section today is going to mean a little bit something different because you guys know as well as I do, some of these AEW figures are way up there in price. They're super duper rare, uh, really hard to come by. So today's go buy it section for the AEW figures is going to be more of like, you know, it's like go buy it if you want to spend the money and if you can afford it, and there's a lot of ands about it. I'm, I guess what I'm saying is if I put it in go buy it. It's worthy of being in your collection. It just may be a bit uh, high in price. So do with that what you will. We got some really good ass figures though that are in the rare category. But let's move down. Up next is good figure which means it's a really solid figure. You know if you want to add it to your collection I completely understand but I don't think it's a must have. You know it's not like oh god you gotta have this just get this. <sighs> Next up is meh, which means, yeah, it's not bad. It's not one of those figures that I really want to seek out. It's just like, yeah, it's not bad. It's not good. It's just meh. We have barely acceptable. Barely acceptable is going to be just one redeeming quality keeping you out of the lowest tier, which is, of course, got to be the garbage, which means you're garbage. I don't want you in my collection. Don't even waste your time seeking out the figure. It's not good. So let's go ahead and dive in, shall we? Let's go ahead and dive into our rankings of eight. AEW Unravel Collection, man. This is Series 1 through 5, including all the figures we have gotten, man. This is store exclusives, all the BS. I threw them all in here. Let's get started and shut the hell up. Starting out with Series 3, Orange Cassidy. Now, I absolutely love Orange Cassidy, and I love this figure. This is a go-buy-it. Uh, really unique stuff, you know, where you can put the figure's hands in the pockets. Uh, I think his next figure, I said that they should make this one where the hands go in the pockets. His next figure should be re-released just like it is, except make the legs poseable. That way, you can have one that's chilling with his hands in his pockets, and then you can have one that's actually posing around and you can do all the cool things with. So hopefully that's what we get, but Orange Cassidy is starting us off strong. That's a go buy it. That's absolutely go buy it. Next up is the Chase variant version of AEW Unrival Collection Series 3 Darby Allen. This one is, I mean, dude, it's go buy it, but like, can you even find it in the store? I don't know. I don't know if you can find it in the store, Brad. I don't, I don't freaking know, but it's a really good figure. It looks fantastic. I love the body paint. The Darby Allen itself is so damn good. There you go. Next up is the ringside exclusive Kenny Omega. I'm going to go good figure. I think that this is a really strong figure. I think if the skin tone was better, of course, this is the pale version still. The hair is not the best. It has the blonde streaks, but it's like they just put like a ring around the hair or something. It was a bit weird. Also, you have to get the you have to get the ring to get this unless you get it loose on eBay. So it's just good figure. I don't think it's must have. I think it's a good figure. Next up is, is this, I can't see it completely on my screen. I think this is the little bit of the bubbly gel. Jericho, and I'm going to put this in Go Buy It. I really like the little bit of the bubbly Jericho. You know, it's a ringside exclusive. It's got all kinds of crazy accessories with it. It's 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 a really good figure. I like the smiling, derpy kind of head sculpt it's got. I'm going to go Go Buy It. Next up is the uh, two-pack, the Blood Brothers. We've got the Blood Brothers two-pack. This one's very close to the garbage, but I'm going to put it in Barely Acceptable. I think that, you know, they changed it up enough. It's a cool moment. You got the, you know, the pissed off head sculpt of Cody. You got the blood. It's a really cool moment. Like I said, it is an exclusive. Exclusive. I think it's barely acceptable. I I, I don't know. I, I think it's got enough redeeming qualities of it. It could go in meh. It may go up a tier, but I think this is a good spot for that one. Next up is the ringside exclusive Cody that hopefully mine arrives today. The day that you're seeing this video, hopefully mine arrives. Can't wait to do a review on that. Maybe the review goes up tomorrow. You guys will have to wait and see. Let's go buy it. It's the best Cody they've made outside of a few Chase variants probably. Really like the colors on it. It's got three interchangeable heads. You got the TNT title. You got the cloth goods. I mean, dude, what can you ask? 
has four badass packaging. Let's go buy it. Definitely track that one down. If you track down any Cody, that's probably the Cody that you want to get. Next up is Brandy. Brandy Rhodes for me. Huh. I kind of want to go meh here, but I think it's pretty good. Like, you know, it's a women's figure. It's kind of hard to stand up, but I think I'm going to go meh. I'm going to go meh. I'm going to be fair here. You know, it does have double jointed legs, thigh rotation, great articulation, great molds and stuff. I don't know. It's just like meh. It's like, did we really need that right there for series? It's like meh. You know, did I need it? I don't know. I'm going to put it meh, but you know. Next up is AEW Series 1 Chris Jericho. I think this is good figure. I think this is a pretty solid figure overall. It could go and go buy it, but I think I like the little bit of the bubbly just a tad bit more. And I'm going to put Chris Jericho Series 1 figure in good figure, even though I really like it. It does have rubber accessories, though. The Ringside Exclusive has cloth accessories. It's just one of those deals. Another thing about this video that I forgot to mention, guys, is that I did not include the 1B figure. So the figures with the different skin tones, I'm just leaving those out of this video. I mean, I don't really know. I don't have them in hand to compare. I know you could say the same thing about Series 5. It's just one of those things where I don't know. I just don't want to really, I don't want to include them, so I'm just not gonna. Series 1 Cody, I'm gonna put this in good figure. I think this is a good figure. You know, his re-release figure is probably gonna be go buy it, you know? I, I think the 1B figure probably is go buy it. I didn't include it again here because we already had like 40-something figures or something like that, so I didn't want to get too, too crazy, make the video longer than it had to be, but Cody's a really strong figure. For his first figure, it knocked it out of the park, but I think there's some Cody's that are better than that, and uh, I really like the gear and stuff. It's just that I think it's a good figure. Next up is the Series 1 Omega, and I'm going to put this one in good figure as well. I don't think you really have to search it out again. I would search it out if you're going to, you know, torso swap and head swap it with the Series 4 figure. really like the pink on it and everything like that and stuff like that, but just the pale skin tone, it's like, why do I want, why would I tell you to go buy it when it's just like, you know, you're just going to have to switch out some stuff, and the, the, the pale skin tone really turned me off, and I think that this is good figure. I, I love Kenny Omega. I like the figure, but I still think that it's good figure. I don't think it's quite go buy it at this juncture in the game. Next up, I think this is Matt Jackson. Is this Series 1 Matt Jackson? I'm going to go go buy it. Uh, you guys know that I put this in number one of my Series 1 rankings. I really love this head sculpt. I think that they're not, they don't look as bad. They really can't stand that well. I don't think the Young Bucks from Series 1, but uh, he, actually Nick is the next one up right here, and I think they're both go buy it because their cloth jackets are super badass as well, and it's just like, you know, that like the jackets are so damn good, the head sculpt's good, at least Matt. Nick is like, eh, but how can you, you know what I'm saying, can I put Nick on good figure? I mean, I guess I could. I'm gonna move him down. I'm gonna put Nick down here because his head sculpt's not as good as Matt's, and I think that's pretty fair right there. I'm gonna put that right there, and let's move the hell on. Next up, guys, is Series 2 Hangman Page. This one is a meh for me. I think it is better than Brandy. The clown shoes kind of turned me off. I feel like he was a bit too tall. Uh, the head sculpt wasn't the greatest thing ever. I think his Series 5 figure is going to be superior, but at the end of the day, I don't know. It's, I love Adam Hangman Page and everything. I just think that figure is meh. I'm going to put that one right there. I think his Series 5 is probably going to be a lot better, so I'm going to put that one in meh. It could go up, but I'm going to put it in meh for now. Next up, guys, is Series number 2 Dustin Rhodes, and this one is going to be meh again. It's just not one of those figures I was excited about. He was like 19 feet tall or something like that. It just it just wasn't one of those figures I really wanted to search out. I'm not big on his black and red look, I don't think, in AEW. I don't I don't know. It's just not one of those figures that I was really excited about getting. Uh, I think it was either my Blood Brothers. I think it was my Blood Brothers 2-pack, but the knee snapped off. It was a whole deal. It's just one of those figures that I'm just like, it, it doesn't excite me that much, so I'm going to put that in meh. Next up is MJF Series number 2. Huh. I think this figure is really good. Good. It like feels good in the hand and everything. I like the cloth accessory for the scarf. It's like, but do I want to put it in good figure? I think I do. I think I do want to put it in good figure. Overall, yeah, I think I do. I think I am going to do that. Yeah, I think I am. You know, it's not the most exciting figure ever, but I think it, it does, it's worthy of a good figure spot. I like the MJF figure. I think it's pretty great. Not the most over the top, but it is pretty good. Next up is Pentagon. This is Go Buy It. This is Pentagon. I mean, dude, what do you want me to say? Uh, great looking head sculpt, great looking attire. The black and white looks absolutely fantastic, and you can't have Pentagon without Ray Phoenix, and I think Ray Phoenix, who 
Ooh, is it go buy it worthy? I think Pentagon's go buy it worthy. I think Ray Phoenix is good, but I think I may want to, I think his black and gold figure from series six is going to be a little bit better. I'm going to put him in good figure. I'm not going to put it in the go buy it section for now. I do really like the Ray Phoenix figure, but I think Pentagon is just a tad bit better. I'm trying to keep the go buy it section to the elite of the elite, and I want everything else to kind of falter in, in, in whatever the hell I just said. So I'm going to put Phoenix in the good figure spot, and we'll see where we go. Next up is Darby Allen. This one is a go buy it. I know I have the Chase variant, Darby Allen, and the regular version, but they're both very damn good. Like, if you have the figure in your collection, you pose them around and stuff, guys, you will know how freaking good it is. Darby Allen's figure is insanity, and I cannot not put it in good figure or, or go buy it. I'm sorry. I can't not put it in go buy it, so I'm going to put it there. Next up is Nick Jackson from the uh, series number three. I think it's Nick Jackson. It may be Matt Jackson. I can't tell on my screen. I think it's Nick Jackson. I'm going to put it in go buy it if it is Nick Jackson. If it's Matt Jackson, then we'll flip, you know, we'll flip it at the end. Nick Jackson is really good from Series 3. They kind of flipped, you know. I think that Matt Jackson, actually, who's at the end down here, maybe this is Matt Jackson. I don't even know, again, on my screen. I can't tell. I think this one's Matt Jackson. I'm going to put him in meh. I really love the figure, but the head sculpt completely threw me off, man. I think it's still a top-tier meh because uh, it, it sucks, though, because you know it's a tag team. Like, if you have one buck, you know, you got to have the other buck in there. Like, you can't just buy one young buck and be like, well, that's it, Brad. You got to have the set there as a unit it as a team booking them there so it's kind of tricky but overall uh nick is much better and just that attire is so sick i would recommend buying two nicks or buy the mat and then put the series one head sculpt on there or just wait till we get more young bucks and, and you guys get the deal there so as a standalone figure i obviously get both bucks but i'm gonna put it in matt overall just because that head sculpt it could go in good figure you know i i honestly you know what i'm putting it in good figure it is good figure like neck down it's fantastic it's just that head sculpt just really makes me want to vomit. Next up is Pockathy. Pac is going in the garbage. Like, I think at this moment, I don't know for certainty, it may be my least favorite figure to this point. He didn't have boot rotation. His head sculpt wasn't very good. His body, I don't know. It just was weird to me. I, I don't know. I just didn't like it very much. It just wasn't one of those figures that gets me excited. Even Mock, it just kind of looks sad. I'm going to put it in garbage right now. It could go up to barely acceptable. I mean, I, I'm trying to think of a really redeeming quality about it and it's just not coming to me so if I can't think of one thing about it it's got to be garbage right so I'm going to put that there and we're going to move on to Riho and I don't know again if this is the Chase variant Riho or the regular Riho they're pretty much the exact same I'm going to put her in barely acceptable I think that uh, you know we get the women's championship uh, I like the attire the attire She's too tall. She does have boot rotation. Um, kind of, uh, you know, the head sculpts aren't the best. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the Chase variant as well on Barely Acceptable. I just think both of them are just kind of plain Jane. Even though I like the gear and everything, they just weren't very exciting releases for me. And, you know, the height. And there's, I don't know, there's a bunch of different things there that I'm not really feeling. I'm going to put those in Barely Acceptable. And uh, we're going to move on here, guys, with series number four, Cody. And I think uh, I want to keep the ringside exclusive at the top there for go buy it but as far as like I think this is a really good Cody bro but I think I'm gonna put it in good figure I would put it and go buy it but again the ringside exclusive has everything this figure has except it has the TNT title it's got more interchangeable stuff it's got the neck tattoo it's got the cloth goods it's got the damn I mean it's just better it's got the, it's just better it's definitely better I would recommend the ringside exclusive TNT champion Cody over the series 4 Cody and I think that's what we're gonna roll with next up is series 4 Matt Hardy this one for me is meh, I think. I think he's way too tall. I think overall he was just way too broad. He kind of reminds me of a Jax figure a little bit, where it's just, there's too, I feel like it's just too much plastic on this guy. The feet were a little bit too oversized as well, and for that reason, uh, you know, he he was the first guy ever in figure form to take a Bratitude adjustment from MDT in the pick fed there for the GCW Royal Rumble, so shout out to him for that, but I think it's a meh release. I think his other figures will probably be a little bit better than this. It's just one of those that I'm just like, gah. Next up is going to be Ortiz. And for Ortiz, I think this is go buy it. A lot of great sculpts going on with this guy. You get the interchangeable head sculpts. You get the, you know, the cool accessories and stuff like that. And I think at the same time, while we're talking about Ortiz, where is Santana? Santana's not far behind. I'm going to pick up Santana and also put him and go buy it. I think both of them are really damn strong. So I think uh, both of those guys are absolutely 
worth the pickup. Really great figures overall. Definitely going to go with Go Buy It for Santana and Ortiz. Hopefully I don't run out of room when I'm doing these rankings because there's so many figures. I guess you guys will kind of find out there as we progress. But at the end of the day, Santana and Ortiz are Go Buy It. Next up is going to be Sammy Guevara from Series 4. I think this is good figure. You know, it's a really solid figure. I don't remember where he came in my ranking, but I remember him feeling really solid in the hand. It's one of those figures that I'll pick up and pose around a little bit. I'm just not the biggest Sammy Guevara guy. Uh, I still think overall it's a very solid figure. I like the attire. I think the head sculpt's pretty decent. Everything like that. It's just, I don't know, it just doesn't excite me too much to put it and go buy it, but I think it is a good figure. Next up is the UK exclusive Cody. Again, I think this is good figure. You know, all of Cody's figures are good. It's kind of weird. You know, they have their skin tones and, and all their different craziness going on. A lot of his t attires are the same. They're just different colors and stuff like that. I think it actually is better than the Series 4. Uh, I like the gear and everything like that. Really good gear. I think it's the second best Cody overall. I think that's fair to say as far as what we've done so far here. I'm going to put UK exclusive Cody at the top of good figure. Now next up guys is the ringside exclusive Jurassic Express pack. And for me, this is going to go in the go buy it section no doubt. I think this is like near the top. I mean it's white gear. It's my favorite tag team there. It's my favorite. You know they're just so good in figure form. The white gear throws it over the top. It's absolutely excellent. Can't you know can't say anything about it. These two guys are definitely at the top of go buy it at this moment and you know it's I mean what do you want to say? It's Luchasaurus. It's Jungle Boy. It's beautiful. Great packaging overall. Just excellent stuff. They're going in the go buy it section. Next up is Series 4 Kenny Omega. This it you guys already know. That's go buy it. I mean do I have to even explain myself Brad? That's go buy it absolutely. There's no buts about it. That is just I mean bro. It's go buy it. It's absolutely go buy it. Again it's the best Kenny. It's it's what we've ever wanted out of a Kenny Omega. Great attire. Great skin tone. Great head sculpt. It's everything you want in an embodied Kenny Omega figure. There it is. Numero uno. Just excellent. Next up is the Chase variant Cody. I love this entrance vest. I really wish that this figure wasn't so rare. Um, I think that, you know, it's just, it's so unique. It's so nice, the gold and everything. I want to put it in good figure because, you know, obviously if you went to purchase this thing, it'd be like $2,500 or something like that, which is absolutely absurdity. <sighs> I don't know what to do here. I don't even know what to do here. I'm going to put it in good figure. I don't think it's, you know, don't spend a freaking fortune. I mean, if it was regular price, it would be go buy it. But since it's so outrageous, I guess I'm going to put it in good figure there. I think it is slightly better than the UK exclusive, though. I think. I don't know, man. Just so many damn Cody figures. And I don't even know, like, the way I'm screen recording this, I don't even know if the whole thing's going to fit in the John Brown box that I'm recording this out of. I may have to make a new box. I don't know what's going on. Ugh. Next up, guys, is the Chase variant MJF. Now, I think this is go buy it. If you're going to if you're gonna get an MJF figure, I would put the Chase variant. I like the pink tights better than the orange tights. I like the scarf a little bit better and everything like that. And again, I'm trying to rank it not based off rarity exactly. I'm trying to just base it off the figure itself. But then again, I didn't do that with Cody. I don't know what I'm doing, Brad. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Let's just move on. I'm going to keep it here for now. If you're going to get one of the MJFs, the pink one's the way to go. If you're going to get one of the Cody's, the ringside exclusive's the way to go. That's how I'm trying to keep it. But then I got Darby's up here at the same time. I'm just doing my best, man. I'm doing my best here. Next up is the Chase variant John Moxley. This one is barely acceptable. Honestly, you know, it's just, it, it's not much different from a Series 2 figure besides like the scar, the t-shirt. It's just, I don't know. It's a really cool figure. Like if I see it, I'm obviously going to get it. I put it at the top though. I really do. You know, it's John Moxley and everything, but I don't know, man. Just one of those figures that's like, just doesn't, I don't, I don't know. Speaking of which, we're on to another Chase variant, which is going to be the Cody and the gold. This one, I mean, dude, it's go buy it. It's insane. The gold on this figure is outrageous. It looks insane. The t-shirt's insane. I like this Chase variant Cody better than the Series 1, even though the entrance vest of the Series 1 is so cool. I think this one's a little bit better. The attire is just nutty, bro. Like, that attire is insane how gold and beautiful it is. Gonna put it right there, and actually, it's better than MJF. It's definitely better than MJF. It's probably better than Santana and Ortiz. It's better than Nick. It's probably better. You know, it, it's, it's on up there, man. It is definitely on up there. It's very freaking good, bro. It's so good. It's insane. Next up is the Chase variant Matt Hardy. I think this one's meh. 
It just doesn't, again, it's just like the other Matt Hardy. You know, I do like the cloth accessory, but it's a Chase variant. I don't know, man. It's just matte. It's got like the regular black lowers. It's just nothing too immaculate for me. Next up is going to be Adam Hangman Page from Series 5. This is go buy it for sure. Um, I really like this figure. I think it's a lot better than his Series 2 figure, and it's just a lot better. You know, you get the you get the pitcher and the glass. You get the bandana. You get the long tights. It's just, it's a better version of the Series 2. I'd say seek this one out over the Series 2, so I'm going to put that one and go buy it. Next up is the Chase variant John Moxley. This is go buy it. Again, just excellent. This is going up in here, man. It's a really good... I love the camo. I love the Paradigm Shift shirt. I love the eye patch head sculpt. Really badass John Moxley, man. Really badass John Moxley. And I think I would say if you could pick any John Moxley without you know having to worry about gear and stuff, I'd probably put that one at number one. It's definitely close, but I would probably put that one near the damn top. Speaking of which, I don't see the Series 2 John Moxley in any of this, even at the bottom them right here. Hopefully I didn't leave out any other figures, but I'm not seeing Series 2 John Moxley. So, Series 2 John Moxley would be in the go buy it section, no doubt about it. He would be there. Um, this is the Chase variant down here. I would have the regular John Moxley in go buy it, no doubts about it. Next up is the Chase variant Adam Hangman Page. This one is meh. You know, it's much like the first go round. It's just, you know, it's got some cool things about it. I like the chaps and everything. It's just like not enough for me to be like, oh yeah, I would still put it probably above the Series 2, but at the end of the day. Not the greatest thing ever. We have Series 5 Luchasaurus. This is go buy it, man. This is right up in here. I don't think it's better than his ringside exclusive, but it's damn good. It's Luchasaurus. I mean, what do you want, bro? That is just, it just Luchasaurus in figure form. Uh, gets me excited. Next up is the regular version of John Moxley from Series 5. I think this is a good figure. I love the attire, but I think the head sculpt kind of holds it back a little bit. I'm not big on the head sculpt, even though I do like the tights a lot. I like the yellow kind of camo going on there. Really good stuff there, but I'm going to put it in good figure, not quite a go buy it. Next up is going to be Frankie Kazarian from Series 5. I think this figure's meh. It just doesn't do a lot for me. Uh, you know, it's it's just, I don't know. I have a bad feeling he's not going to have boot rotation and I think that that's going to hold that figure back. I think it's a good head sculpt. I like the AEW tag title. It's just like, I don't know. It doesn't do a lot for me there. I'm going to put it in meh and just go from there. Next up is Jungle Boy from Series number 5. Ah, I think this is go buy it because, you know, it's really it's like a, it's when you see a figure that's a perfect representation of somebody from head to toe in figure form, when you see that figure and it looks just like the, the person, you gotta go buy it, bro, because it's just so damn good. It's like crazy how much it looks like the guy and stuff like that. I'm gonna put that and go buy it. And then at the end here, we have Scorpio Sky. This one's tough. I don't know if I wanna put it and go buy it or good figure because uh, I don't know how the legs are gonna be just yet. He kinda looks like his legs are gonna be like Storm Collectibles, which I don't like. They kinda look a little bit boxy. You do get the AEW tag title. He does have the vest instead of the long sleeves. And I do like Scorpio Sky. I'm going to put this in Go Buy It. I like it. I, I think I do like this one a lot. Putting it up all in the there and your stuff. And yeah, I think that is pretty much it, man. I think that's every single figure. Again, I know for a fact we left out Series 2 John Moxley. We probably left out a variant here, a variant there. I'm also missing the Chase variant uh, Chris Jericho from Series 1. I know I put them both in there, but they're not here for whatever reason. They're just not here for that. That one, I would put that one in meh. It's, you know, it's just an inner circle t-shirt. Not the not the greatest Chase variant ever. I don't think I'm missing any others. I probably am. But, yeah, I think that's what we got so far here. We got both Series 5 Chases. We got both Series 4 Chases. We got both Series 3 Chases. We got both Series 2 Chases. And we got one of the Chases from Series 1. We got the ringside exclusives. I think Series 2, John Moxley Normal, and the Chase variant of Chris Jericho from Series 1 is the only ones. But I think I'm pretty happy with this list right here. Uh, maybe outside of this, you know, this could go up and down. Maybe a couple here could go up and down a little bit. But outside of that, man, I think this is pretty solid. Only one garbage figure, which is going to be Pac. Not the greatest figure ever. Ever, man. It just, it's just not one of those that I would seek out. Barely acceptable. You know, I think this is pretty fair here. Meh, I think that's pretty acceptable as well. Just not the most exciting figures ever, but you guys can let me know what you think of everything down in the comment section below. Now, I think that there is a lot of go buy it here, but this is every single figure that AEW has released thus far. And, I mean, you'd have a pretty solid collection right here if you, uh, if you bought all these. So, that's pretty damn nice. But anyways, guys, I think that is gonna do it for our AEW Unrivaled Collection Series Ranking, Series 1 
through five. Like we've done every single AEW figure to this point at the time of recording. So uh, I guess when we get six through 10, we'll do those. So that'll be a little bit before we get there, but I still enjoyed this video. We'll have more exclusives to throw in there and everything like that. But I enjoyed the AEW figure ranking, guys. I hope you guys did as well. But that's gonna do it for this MDT video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I guess the next video ranking we do will be series, what, 11 through 16 or 15 or whatever that would be for the WWE elites. But I'm getting out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and let me know what you would rank as your best figure or what you think goes in the garbage or what you thought of my ranking. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. And don't cross the line like Pac. No boot rotation, bastard. Bastard Pac. Well, there you go. You crossed the line. I've been